Welcome to my channel. Can you solve this infinite series? This problem challenges us to find the value of an infinite series formed by nested square roots. Despite its seemingly complex nature, but Ramanujan's approach simplifies the problem by cleverly manipulating perfect squares and their factors. This question posed by Srinivas Ramanujan in the general of the Indian Mathematical Society over a hundred years ago. Pause the video and take a moment to attempt solving the problem independently. Afterward, watch the explanation to gain insights into Ramanujan's approach. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. When solving this problem, you will get exactly x equal to 3. Yes, the x value is 3. Let's see why. We can start by expressing 3 as a square of a number which is 9. 3 we can write it as square root of 9. This 9 we can write as 1 plus 8. If you find the factors of 8, it is 2 times 4 is 8. Instead of 8, we can write it as 2 times 4. And this 4, we can write as root 16. Isn't it? 3, we can write as 1 plus 2. This 4, we can write as root 16. So this root 16, write it as 1 plus 15. This 15, write the factors that is 3 times 5 so this form we can write as 1 plus 2 root 16 we can write as 1 plus 15 1 plus this 15 we can write as 3 times 5 this 5 we can write as a perfect square that is square root of 25 we continually repeating the process with each new perfect square obtained until we reach the original form. This approach shows us Ramanujan's brilliance in recognizing patterns and manipulating mathematical expressions to simplify complex problems. By understanding the structure of the series, we can arrive at the elegant solution of 3. Let's recall what we did here. First, write that number 3 in the form of perfect square. So first we write in the form of perfect square. And second, this 9 we can write as 1 plus 8 that is we write in the form of 1 plus k. Then we find the factors of 8. Consider a and b are factors of k and observe here the difference 2 and 4. The difference is 2. So that is factors difference is b minus a that is 2. Last number we write in form of perfect square. Again we repeat the process. So this is a perfect square. So our first step is done. Then again, this 16 we write in the form of 1 plus 15. So that is in the form of 1 plus k. Our second step is done. And then the n number that is 15, we find the factors. And the difference is 2. So 5 minus 3 is 2. So the, the difference is 2. That we did the third step. And again, this end of the number that is 5, you write in terms of perfect square. So that is 5 perfect square is 25. So again we repeat the process. Like that we continuously repeating the process with each new perfect square obtained until we reach the original form. Now try to write the general form of this infinite series. When you find the factors the difference is 2. So if suppose if you take the factor k and something the difference should be 2. That's why the second factor you consider as a k plus 2 and k as a first factor. Because the diff when you do difference, k plus 2 minus k will get only 2. So here the difference should be 2. So that's why you take k and k plus 2 as factors. And here, the end of the term you are always making as a perfect square. So write this end of the term as a perfect square. And then the first factors are 2 times 4. That is 2 and 4 are even numbers. And the second time, 3 times 5, we notice that the factors of a perfect square alternate between even and odd numbers respectively. So, because of that, k and k plus 2 are our factors. So, it should be first time, it should be even and the second time should be odd. So, if you take k equal to 2, then k is 2, then k plus 2 is 4. So, that means our factors are correct. 
if k equal to 3 so then k equal to 3 then k plus 2 equal to 5 so if you take factors product then you will get when k equal to 2 you will get 2 times 4 when k equal to 3 you get 3 times 5 so clearly we can say that k and k plus 2 are our factors now write the general form of this equation square root of 1 plus k then square root of k plus 2 whole square this is our general form of this infinite series let's try to understand this general form expand this k plus 2 whole square it is in the form of a plus b whole square expand this term 1 plus k a square means k square plus b square that is 4 plus 2ab that is 2a means k b means 2 that means 4k this 4 we can write it as 1 plus 3 or uh, 3 plus 1 what are the factors of this quadratic form that is k plus 1 k plus 3 these are the factors of this quadratic and this plus 1 you write front side 1 plus k square root of 1 plus k plus 1 so this last term we always write in terms of perfect square that's why this k plus 3 we can write this k plus 3 whole square and and so on so this sequence going on it become infinite series it is same as your this infinite series so the value is 3 if you like this content please subscribe to the channel thank you for watching